What is up, what is up, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an intermediate to an advanced tutorial on coloring in your characters. So let's get into the video. The first thing you want to do is you first want to scan over your whole entire image just to make sure that everything is all closed off. One open little line that's not connected to another line, it's not going to work. It's going to leave a patch that's open. So one of the very first things that you're going to want to do with your image is first duplicate your layer. So you have one on the top and then have one on the bottom where you can be doing all of your edits on. And so simply just press alt and then just drag it down in the layer menu. That's all you got to do. Then lock the top one. And then the very next thing you got to do is on the bottom layer, highlight everything and then go to your menu object and then expand. Okay super simple and then after you get done doing that you're gonna want to hit the merge button in your pathfinder window it's easier if you just open these windows up and just have them to the side like i have them the very next step you want to do is you want to make a square of whatever color that you want to choose and then what you want to do is you want to right click and then you want to arrange and then you want to send it to the back this allows you to put the color behind it and then you can change the color to whatever color you see fit for whatever you're drawing for me i'm drawing this weird looking fairy tinkerbell style character and i am gonna make her main color first is the skin color before i start changing and editing all the other colors but the very next thing you want to do is you want to deselect the color then you want to select everything and then you're going to want to hit merge back in your pathfinder window have it all grouped together so we can get ready to move on to the next step which will be separating the outer color from the inner color so what you want to do is you want to right click on the color and then you're going to want to ungroup it by doing what i just did right there and then as you see i was able to delete the outer color leaving only what was left on the inside and as you can see I can do a lot of things, mess with the colors and change them around. If I'm not happy with the color, just press Command Z, Control Z, and go back and just edit to make it to work the way I want it to work. And just play with the color system until you're able to find a color of what you're looking for. Now it's time to start editing all the other colors in the body, like the clothing and the hair. So you can use your selection tool to select which parts of the body you want to edit and then start changing it around. For me, I'm going to make this fairy look like more of a caveman. I'm going to make her outfit more of a brown but you know you can always switch it around and just change it around like I do and change it to make it blue and you can have a lot of fun with the colors before you start adding highlights just to get that really nice back base of the coloring down and you can do a lot with what you have going on and you know you just look for other little areas on the body just see what you can edit onto make things look really good by harmonizing it together or you can make them look completely different and make them look completely quagmire to what they need to be and just use the quick selection tool to just select whatever part of the body you want to select with and you can see right here i'm going to make a small mistake where i did not completely close all of the lines in i'm going to change part of the bottom hair up to a different color and you're going to see how a part of it does not change correctly with everything else and uh, just keep plugging away when you're trying to do this main fill just make sure everything is going the way how you want it to go and before you know it you're going to have a really nice base color for your entire image before you start adding all the highlights and all the shading and everything else to make it look really good and really cool And sooner or later you will be ready to start finalizing your image and the way how I do this is I use the pencil tool and when I use a pencil tool when you first initially use it it can be challenging depending how you're gonna use it if you're gonna be using it as the way how I use it where I do it on individual colors then your workflow can either be faster or slower usually mine's pretty quick when I do it my own way so what I do is uh, I pretty much just shade out everything in a uh, in a harmonizing style of color and everything that matches the color. Some people, what they usually do is they make the entire shading process one whole entire color. So what they do is they start shading everything, then they hit Control or Command A, select all the shades that they have made, and 
they changed it to like a dark blue and then they changed the transparency just to give everything a similar style of shading and that is actually a very smart way to shade your character when you're doing shadings and uh, just because you can make everything look really nice and you know harmonized and things like that and it looks really good uh, you don't have to do that in this video I'm gonna use everything based off of section when it comes to the coloring like for example the face different parts of the face you can use a lighter darker mid-tone range of colors for the shading and it just depends on your own preference and like I said I usually just use either the, either the pen tool or the pencil tool uh, the pencil tool in my opinion is more handy just because I'm able to just quickly do certain sections of my character without having to worry too much and it's really easy to change errors using either eraser tool or using your selection tool to just change and pop in pop out points that is what you created and it's just really easy and as you see here I'm doing with the eyes I'm about to put a shade on the eye and it's just that simple with the pencil tool some people they use the pen tool and they love it a lot I don't mind the pen tool um, depending what I'm drawing if what I'm drawing is more mechanical, like cars and machines and stuff like that. Then I would use the pen tool, but when it comes to people, figures, or anything that's organic, I use the pencil tool because it's nice to get that more organic flow, in my opinion, than just using the pen tool to make it look perfect. I mean, a little bit of squiggle here, squiggle there, sometimes looks really nice. But uh, that's pretty much the video. All I got to say for the tutorial, there's not much else I can really say to go into. Uh, realistically, just practice, 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 work on your techniques. You will get better as you progress. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And uh, really just practice with your color theory when it comes to what you're making. If you're making, for instance, in this video, I'm making a fairy person. Um, practice with your people if you're making inanimate objects like tables and chairs then uh just practice on where the light source is coming from figure it out if there's a light above the table or a light in front of the person if they're standing in front of the sun if they have their face to it or if they have their back to it just figure out where the light source is and you will be better when it comes to that one of the things I see people use when they can't figure it out is they just make like let's say like a square or a block and they put it in a certain section and they make it yellow or something brightly colored and they say that's my light source that's where it's coming from it's coming from up above far northeast you know and um, that's what they do and it just functions for them properly me uh, I just wing it sometimes I just have fun with it you know because when it comes to art what you want to do is have fun but this has pretty much been the video on how to color in and fill your characters but uh, it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics rate comment subscribe I'm gonna speed up the video till the end of it put it into a time lapse but your boy out